right? So let us see how we can email these logs as well. In order to do that, I need to add another SMTP uh, appender over here. So this is uh, the email appender, uh, the SMTP appender that I'll be adding, right? Now, uh, log4j file will directly not gonna support uh, these uh, email uh, send outs, right? So what we actually need to do, uh, the very first thing, uh, there are two things that you need to add. One is this email appender, right? So same thing uh, you need to give over here as well. That is uh, your, the name is basically error email, like, like the way I've given over here. Just give this appender name over here, right? The next thing you need a class that is secure SMTP appender, right? This is a class that uh, basically uh, I have uh, added to my project, right? So this class uh, you can directly add it uh, to your uh, default package or the package that you're working on, right? And in order to uh, add this class, you need to have this mail uh, .jar file, right? Now there is some Java code written for uh, how you can send uh, the mail through SMTP protocol right you need not to worry about what is written inside this code because this code is freely available on internet right you can search for how to send emails using smtp protocol in java right that is what uh, i have actually taken and i have created this class over here the main thing is that you need to extend this smtp appender right now if you take a look over here this smtp appender is uh, basically uh, from apache log4j this is what you need to append and the same value, this class value, you actually need to give it over here, right? Whatever class name that you provide. Now you need to give your SMTP username. Let's say this is the username, this is the password, right? And then you need to give uh, the two address to whom you want to send emails. You need to give it like this. The from address from which you are actually sending emails, subject and the SMTP host. So this is the important thing. If you're sending it out to Gmail, the host will be smtp.gmail.com. If you're sending it out through your uh, company's address, then it should be some IP address that you need to uh, get in touch with the IT team. Uh, they'll provide you this information, right? So again, uh, the layout would be the standard layout that we were actually sending, right? And uh, I've created a filter over here. Now these filters are uh, range level filters, which will actually gonna define the minimum range and the maximum range. So any anything that comes inside the minimum and the maximum error and fatal, all the log levels uh, between error and fatal, only the mails will be sent out based on those log levels. So in this case, uh, the log levels, uh, debug and info will not be sent out, only the error. If we have error or any fatal exception, then that will be sent out, that's it, right? So make sure you need to provide the accurate password over here. So this is the only thing you need to do and then if you uh, go back to your uh, Java class and if you execute it now it will actually gonna send out the emails. So what I'll do I'll just click on run now and let us see if the emails are being sent out or not. See the logs are being generated. And yes, we got the response. Okay. If you see over here, the logs, updated logs are being added. Now, if I take a look at my inbox, let us wait for some time and see uh, the email will be triggered or not. Yes, the email is triggered. See, the same thing. Uh, if you match the added logs as well, so the same information is being sent out over here. Right now, you can have any any type of exception printed inside the logs, and the same will be sent out in an email to multiple groups that you want to send it out. Right? This is how you can use this uh, log4j API, and you can make a good use of this log4j API with this extended functionality, and how you can create console-based logs, file-based logs, and email-based logs. All right.